Ryan Avery here again. Just want to say thank you for sort of watching um, our bee channel again, Natural Raw Honeybees. Um, just wanted to do this as a session before I get my bees, which should be arriving my nuke on Sunday uh, or Saturday, um, hopefully. Um, but this weekend, I thought I'd just quickly do a review of this beehive. Now, just as a reminder, this was made by um, Dean Shepherd at um, Hyde Hives and Matt Shepherd, his brother. Um, and the two of them, they sort of do um, everything and run the business. They do make some excellent beehives. It took me a while. And just as a reminder, this is a hive that they sort of dropped off um, for me because I was expecting my nuke um, previously. Unfortunately, um, the queen stopped um, laying properly. So they ended up sort of, um, I didn't actually need it as of yet, but I st I'm still waiting my final hive, which they are making, which I'll do another video on when it does arrive, but it's not, there are similarities to this one. Now I, I'm not going for the traditional top down boxes. What I've gone for as a reminder is a long hive. Now a, diff, a long hive is rather than having the frames all stacked up on top, they go sideways for those who aren't too familiar with them. But let me explain a bit more about this hive. So this hive is a got a cedar frame at the bottom for the legs. And I'll show you a close up of that just now. But, and, but the actual main hive is made out of pine. Now the other one uh, that I'll be sort of getting and I'll do a review on, that's also made out of cedar. But as a, just as a reminder, and again, thank you Dean and Matt for letting me say I can actually keep this hive. Um, so just disclosing it, that I, they gave me this hive um, at, and I'm very grateful for you um, for doing so. Now, this is very easily made up and lifting up look it's just what just very very simple got two pen, um, good gas struts that are made in there uh, fitting in there and they've got i'll do some close-ups of the inside of this as well um, these are just going to be the um the feeders that i'm actually going to use as and when the bees do come in but we'll be using them both at the same time at least not initially this this long hive has two entrances one, if I tip this here, one at this end, but there's also, if I wanted to, have it at the other end. Uh, um, I'm not planning to have both ends open, just have one of them open at this stage uh, when I start. I haven't, I'm probably going to start with the entrance at this side, but I might actually put the bees on this side. I haven't decided um, as yet, but I've got until Sunday to decide that. Now, one of the key things about this hive is, uh, and why I went for a long hive, is that it's going to be less lifting. I don't have to keep um, taking the frames out, storing supers. I can leave them all in here, even in the winter. Uh, now, one of the key things around this is that the water's going to shed really, really nicely off this. It's good overhang, so it's not going to go over onto the main wood unless there's really a lot of um, rain or wind blowing in here. But this is quite sheltered. I've got my greenhouse on this side, so that provides some shelter. And you can see at this point, I'm actually, it, it's um, June the 14th, so pretty much, oh, so July the 14th, so pretty much the middle of the summer, and this is already in a bit of shade at this point in time. But this roof is not just ordinary ply, it is um, phenolic resin ply. So it's very, very hard waterproof. I do know something you can make, um, sort of like a little boat, so skip, skips type things out of this and you can float it and it won't sort of rot. So this is going to last for years. It's not going to have to be replaced. Um, but, um, Dean will actually make it to some slightly different patterns if you actually wish to. I just like having the just plain simple one and that's what I've got in the other hive as well. The crown boards, very, very simple. Um, got two sides to this. This side, if you can see, is just plain flat. And this side, you can see, has actually got ridged. The reason being, initially and normally, you'd have it flat side down. Um, however, if you had in some, some pollen patties or something like that, or you had some uh, something else, that, like some um, shitter um, that you were putting on top or something, you, you could put it the other way around. You've just got a bit of room underneath there, um, but this would still fit nicely on top. So fondant under there, um, pollen um, would be absolutely great for that. Now, initially when I put them in, all I'm gonna do is pop that out, put that down and put the feeder on top. Very nice and simple. Keep this aside. 
I'm probably then just going to create a little hook or something that I can actually put these in here so I don't have to take them away. But very, very nice, simple design guide, and it's made very, very well. Having a look at the joints, absolutely superb, and lots of screws, so you know they're not just going to fall to bits as well. Made here in the UK, um, up in Kidderminster, so not, uh, and they try and use um, sort of, um, they are quite sort of conscious about what would they actually use, um, so it's all sort of um, good for the environment as well. Now these do not come with any frames when they do come, and I'll show you the floor just now. But what they do do, um, you can get a queen excluder if you want. They, I don't believe they now provide them as standard because generally with long hives, the, the bees and the, particularly the queen when she's laying, she'll just move along the, the frames as and when she actually needs to. So uh, many sort of top hive or um, long hive um, the beekeepers won't use a uh, queen excluder. So um, I might not, I'll probably just put that right at the back and if I feel that I, it's appropriate, I probably will. If I was doing something like comb, I would probably put that in, and that's probably what I'm going to do with this, this hive here. They actually have um, the brood at the front, and at the back, I'll just have some ordinary frames, and that will be um, for the purposes of raising for brood, um, for comb honey. And obviously, I don't want to have any brood in that, so I probably would put in the, um, the queen exclude for that. Now, this hive is a Langstroth hive and they do do them in the good old British national um, size and also in the 1412 which is effectively the British national just deeper frames um, with that. So I'm going to be using at least for the brood side um, plastic coat, uh, wax coated plastic foundation um, and just standard Langstroth hives. Now some people might want to ask the question what's the difference between a top hive and a long hive? Well, generally, a top hive is you just have the top beam of a frame and the, the bees will just build the foundation down on top of that. But there wouldn't be the side frames or you put, put any foundation in yourself. So, but a, most top hives are long hives. A long hive just means we're going long way. But this is just a frame long hive, not a top hive because I'm going to be putting in some foundation. Now, when I do the... Uh, comb with the other hands, those I will do a bit like a top hive style, which will be without um, any foundation. I might put a very st uh, small starter strip just at the top, um, as I say, probably behind the queen excluder, and let them build the, the, their comb down so it's more natural. So that when I cut that, um, then it will be, um, you know, maybe a little bit thinner. Now, in addition to what, what does come with what the guys provide is the uh, follow-on board so initially we have the new comb I've got is five frames so i put that in there i'm going to add uh, an extra couple of frames either side and i'll do a video of when i'm actually putting the bees in and then i put that there and have all these spare frames that i have um, this side of it now this holds 20 frames in total so if i'm going to have five one one either side extra so that'll be seven i've got 20 frames in total um, that will mean that this will be full, but I've got enough as well to have this follow on board in in a few weeks time Even quicker if, it, if it's a good flow on and uh, they've been, been good productive with uh, extending it I will just lift that up move another couple of frames in and put that down on the other side Nice and simple really really nice design no heavy lifting um, As they expand and also the advantages you don't have to put on like a whole super another um, seven eight ten uh, eleven frames depending on what sort of beekeeping you do i can just extend it by one or two frames uh, to actually suit the actual um, temperament of the actual hive and the queen themselves again they've got here just a good old excluder type thing there so again if we, i was deciding to move all the bees away because i wanted to extract a few frames i could move them aside put that in there leave it overnight and then it'd come back the next day and that would have very few if any bees in there so again they've done some really good thinking so matt dean I i'm really really impressed with this hive i uh, do a few close-ups and talk about those but ultimately this fits very easily um, it's a heavy hive guys so if anybody does have um, an experience of your hives being stolen that's not going to happen with these um, they are far too heavy um, to do and bulky as well 
the floor. One thing I haven't shown you as well is that they do have these boards. There's one on that side and one here. So again, you can do that for your mic checks. What I'm going to do is, because this is um, the same phenolic uh, resin um, board that we have on the top, um, I'm going to actually just put some white stuff over here with um, some grids on so that if I am doing some checks, it just gives me a bit of an idea of monitoring those. But I, I really like this. So well me guys. Okay, here's just a few close-ups I'm just going to talk through. So first of all, let's start at the entrance. Uh, I've got a nice landing board um, here right on the front. As I said, we've got this on both sides. So you can choose whichever side you want. And because the cantilever of the roof is what it is, you can see it actually goes vertical. So if you had a wall or something here, it's not something that will be leaning out overwards so and taking up more space. You can have it re very close up against something else, like a wall or something, if you wish to. Now, they do come with the entrance reducer. Um, so initially, I probably won't do it for um, keep that on um, for at least the uh, first day or so while they're all orienteering. But generally, I, I'll see about doing that unless it gets a bit warm or anything else here. Key here again, uh, if I just open this up, is having a look at the floor. So you can see the mesh that we actually have. Um, it's a good, solid mesh as well. It's not um, cheap and thin, it's, that will stand up for years again with um, all the activity. Not that bees will put too much pressure on there, but any warping or anything, if that were ever to happen, that would be able to take it. It's not going to be, it's not some cheap um, plastic or like a little uh, mesh, a very thin mesh. Here's the roof. Um, again, you can see here, solidly made, very good um, construction. If I do some sort of close-ups, you can see that the quality is very very good I, I can't really fault you guys um, I'd be interested to see how that differs with the uh, with the what is it called the cedar hide that I'm actually having made uh, because it's obviously a different wood it's a hardwood rather than this being pine and softwood now in addition that if uh, you're doing the beekeeping and you're trapping and you accidentally trap some bees in here not an issue because of course you have there's on either side an, uh, an exit for the bees to be able to get out because and it'll be dark in there so that will attract them directly to that point because that will be light in the day this board here again just showing you very very um nice um, thing to have i think in this day and age where we have to look after the health of the bees this side you can see it's got a an entrance reducer where it's completely closing this entrance but if i wanted it the other side all i do is swap those two entrances um with the entrance reducer to this side or just open up this side um, I don't think I'm going to try with um, having both sides actually um, open at the same time. And the stand, as I said, that's out of cedar. And you can see that's also very, very solid. It's not um, very thin timber that they're using, Dean. Um, yep, good work. Thank you. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to sort of um, tell you about. And um, hopefully um, the next video that I will do will be once I introduce for bees and I get collect the nuke later on at, um, this weekend, which I'm really looking forward to, finally getting into doing, um, having bees again and having them in our little home apri. So key things I just wanted to mention again, nice solid hive, thanks to Matt and Dean for this hive, um, unexpectedly um, been given that, um, but I would recommend you guys have a look at their website. I put the details on um, our page and please do um, do the usual, subscribe, Tick that little bell and um, do follow us and let other people know.